we've seen a lot of things come and go. And I, I think what we don't do enough is in retrospect, think about what was good that we can learn from some of these things and what is uh, some of the things that we could probably leave out. So the example I give is curves, right? And for the people who don't remember curves, it was this mm -hmm. yeah. uh, a station, yep. it was a station based circuit of machine biased uh, exercises, and it was driven specifically to a target market for women. And it kind of came and went because mm -hmm. there were certainly flaws in, in it, but they also did a really good job of bringing in an audience that otherwise wasn't walking into gyms and creating that kind of community in a place for them. They just, their deliverable wasn't really that great. So give me an idea of some of the things you've seen along the way where they had a really good idea or some good concept that we can steal, but just maybe change the deliverable of the execution. I mean, I think a lot of the org places like um, CrossFit boxes and a lot of uh, some of the boutique fitness places, I won't name names, but I'm thinking of a few, they have great energy in a room and in many ways, a good experience that's really close to being tailored for the individual, but they haven't gone that extra, extra step to do any kind of assessment. They haven't done that extra step to really tailor the group exercise programming for that individual. So they know what they do when everyone else is doing a squat, they have a regression or whatever, whatever it may be. So I think there's tremendous still runway and uh, companies are trying it and I think they're getting better, but I don't think at scale, too many places have done it.